all right so if you are following my previous videos we have learned how to make uh, f um, a simple to do application on web with firebase firestore which is on the left hand side and in this video we are going to make uh, the same application with flutter so if i go ahead and ta add a tasks uh, task on my web application let's say learn mysql it should reflect on my application as well <laughs> you see that it is here so if I complete some task here, so let's say I have learned PHP, click done. So it is ticked. If I complete a task from here, if I click here, so it is done from here as well. If I delete uh, the MySQL task from here, it will be deleted from here on the application as well. If I long press on my mobile application on this task, it will uh, so it will be deleted from the app and web as well so um you have uh, so if you have missed my previous two videos i so i will suggest you to watch these videos so uh, if you watch these two simple videos you will be able to make uh, a, a simple web application which is th this one and in this video we are going to talk about the mobile application okay so first let's open the firebase uh, cloud firebase go to the console and this is our project minimize it and let me open a new project here so we are going to start from scratch new firebase project i'm going to close my emulator as well force quit yes quit okay and then let me close uh, the android studio as well this one okay create a new flutter project next here we can just name it um, flutter YouTube to do app okay um, this is the destination of the project okay good finish so a brand new project is being created so there are a simple steps to uh, make this application first we have to create the fire uh, the firebase project which we already have and then we have to connect your app with the firebase right so this is our app and to connect this with fire firebase um, go to your project and click add app and then click on android so so you, so you need to write the package name of your app so our name of our package is this you can go to your android and then go to app go to build.gradle scroll down you will be able to see your name here so this is the name of our application paste it here this is optional you can write anything here to do app register app so next we have to download this uh, Google JSON file um, let me go to my downloads and let me see if all right okay so let's just download this I should be able to see it in my documents yes I can see it here um, you have to copy this file uh, inside your app directory okay okay make sure you have this um, maybe something is wrong here okay add so uh, this google or just uh, this google dash service dot json file is inside your android and app app folder okay let's go back to the uh, firebase console click next so so here are a few steps which we need to do uh, on your project level build gradle file you should be able to see google inside your build script repositories so let's go here and see if we have it so let's see if we have it um here we can see that we have that next uh, what we have to do is that we have to add this line inside the dependencies copy it go to your dependencies let me just make it full screen 
uh, on your dependencies paste this line next in your all project repository make sure you have google all project repository we have google right okay next on your app level build gradle file um, after this we have to add this line okay let's go to the app level build gradle file and here add this line here sorry here okay and then in the dependencies we have to add this line in the same file go to the dependencies and next we have to add this google analytics okay next okay go to console so we have successfully uh, successfully um, we have connected the app to the firebase and the next step is to uh, make the minimum SDK 19 because it will not run if your minimum SDK is less than 19 so on this line uh, this is the app slash build gradle file <coughs> make it 19 and this line is optional if it uh, not worked on your on your machine you can just um, so so if the application is not building on your machine you can write this line to enable uh, the multi dex okay and then um, step three we require two um, packages firebase core and cloud firestore go to your um, firebasepacks.yml and add this line here copy this one add this project as well click on this pub get make sure you don't get any error here yes process was finished um, process finished with exit code 0 okay so that means it is good go back to our uh, step list so uh, step 1 is done 2 is done 3 is done on the step 4 um, in your um, in your main file we have to initialize firebase so copy these two lines go to this file before you run your app you have we have to add these two lines import um, this package which we just added and add here async so this error will go away <clears throat> okay the last thing um, write code right so this uh, so in this last step we are going to load all our documents inside our project so let's just run the application as it is uh, let me see if we have uh, let me go to the tools avd manager mm, let me just wipe data so that it has free storage for the apps and then open this emulator so we are going to run the app on this emulator Okay, the emulator is starting <clears throat> meanwhile it is starting we can go ahead and we can see that what uh, is the link for this code click on this link and scroll down scroll down here we have the code to for the real-time changes right um, go here and just copy this line first copy it inside your code in your stateful widget this one so let's just run the app and then we will remove all the useless code here and we will just write the code which is required for the firebase So we are running the app and it is being built on our Android Studio.
okay so looks like the the work we did on the build gradle file was okay so that's why the application are built installed on our emulator and here what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna delete everything from here the code which is not necessary i'm gonna remove it all the comments these are not required <clears throat> I'm gonna also remove this complete body okay and then just write here text and then firebase here just remove this floating action button as well make sure you uh, remove the code carefully okay so it is done now and let me just remove this as well run the file again run run this project and we see that firebase here text written over here so now what we have to do is that we just have to copy this line which you already did copy and then paste it right here okay so um, make sure you add the required libraries for that just add the mouse over here import library cloud fire store click on that um, remember we have a collection for to do's right um, this is our collection if I go to the firebase host uh, database cloud fire store here we have a collection called um, to do's okay so right here to do's okay and then um, in our body we will write some code which will which will load the real time um, uh, real time updates okay just copy it copy it and then paste it here okay so looks like there is no error let me just run this code let's see loading here and now let's type okay there's some error all right so we just copy and paste it here because um, we have to make sure we are using the correct um, correct keys for our project so let's see here we have to do key and this value we have this done key and this value so we have to update this as well to do to do and then subtitle is done so the subtitle is so uh, so this done is a boolean we have to make it a string so, so that it it does not give an error okay it is working fine so if i add some task on our web application i should be able to see it here right so let me just open um, what was the link to this hosting <clears throat> firebase hosting this is the link to our app as you see we have one task here which is done let's just add an, another task another task so this is being added on fire firestore and firestore is uh, so on the app we are listening the real time changes so this is the status of the app so let's say we want to make it intuitive and we want to make it like this um, here we have to uh, we are adding a checkbox leading um, okay let's just copy this if the task is done then show an icon for um, icons dot this one and then if the task is not done um, then show a blank icon save it okay so when we have true it is checked when it is false it is not checked so if i go on the web application i make this task done this will show as done great okay so we can also delete and update tasks from here for this we have to write some code uh, which i can just copy from my other application to save my time code Filter, Firestore, Library, 
and then open it with VS code let me just copy a few lines from here and I will explain it to you as well copy minimize it okay so I'm gonna write these two lines here so when I press when I long press this this uh, list item so it will go to the firebase file store instance in the in this collection it it will find the document and it will delete it if I just tap on this it will uh, make the task equal to done so save it and run it sync uh, okay it is synced and then go to your browser firebase um, task it is added here right so if I if I remove some task from here it should go away from here as well great okay great so we have so to test this function on long press if I long press it should delete it okay so here I am going to my application I am gonna long press it so it is done it is done from here as well it is removed from both sides if I add another task and I want to complete this task from my app I just have to click it once click it is done from here as well so this is a, a great tool you can make a cross site uh, application cross platform applications you can make web and app and you can sync the task um, so it is very simple so if you have missed my uh, two videos um, in which I have explained how to make the web application with the Firebase Firestore and the other application uh, and uh, in the in the other video I have explained how you can um, make um, how you can upload your app to the Firebase hosting and then in the third video I have explained how you can connect your app with your web application so stay tuned for more informative and more educational videos